Buffalo wings are amazing to share, but even better when you eat them all yourself. We went online and asked you guys for some tips, and here's a recipe on how to nail it every time. Okay, so buffalo wings, needless to say, are not from buffalo, they're from chickens. Good so we've fact. got chicken wings. What we're going to do is fry them, because that's what a buffalo wing is, and then serve with a hot cayenne pepper sauce. Mm. But first to coat them, and we're doing that in a bag, top tip from you guys, with loads of spices. Chili pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, celery salt, and garlic powder. Proper heat and some brown sugar. That was a long list. I'm going to need the full weights and measurements, which I can find down below. Up, up, up. All of the spices, yeah, brown yeah. sugar. You can do it in a bowl, but the bag is just a lot easier and a great tip from you. And we're not adding any fat because it's a dry rub. A couple of options to cook them. You can either fry them off from raw or I prefer to bake them first. So on a baking tray, 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes, then they can go in the fryer. It just makes sure they cook all the way through to the bone without drying out and over crisping the outside. We didn't want to nause up this amazing recipe by getting the dip wrong, did we? So we asked you guys and you said blue cheese, which was the wrong choice. It was the very, very, very right choice. It's delicious. Equal quantity of blue cheese, sour cream and yogurt blitzed up with fresh chives and a pinch of celery salt until it is nice and creamy and thick. You can always add a bit of water because this you're looking for is something that will cling on to your chicken wing when you dip it. If you don't like blue cheese, go for ranch dressing instead. Blue cheese is the way forward with hot wings. Now for the hot sauce. You guys recommended a particular brand of hot sauce that we are going to use, but we won't mention the name, but I'll be frank about it. Also, you said to use some butter and to make sure that the hot sauce is really, really, really hot and firing. All you need to do is throw everything in Japan, and by everything, I mean all the stuff that's listed in the link down below. That's butter, honey, sriracha, cayenne pepper, and Frank's hot sauce. So while this sauce bubbles away and waits for our wings, I'm gonna take a head of celery and chop up loads of little batons. Another great tip from you, that's you, me, celery is crunchy anyway, but if you store it in ice cold water just before you need it, it is so good. So crispy, so savory, brilliant with the blue cheese and will cool you down after those hot wings. Now at this point, your wings are pretty much cooked, but to finish them off, fry them in a really hot fryer, 180 degrees Celsius until they go golden and crispy, or baste them with butter and put them under a grill if you haven't got a deep fat fryer. Once your wings have baked and then either grilled or fried, toss them in that hot, bubbling hot sauce until they are super sticky and glossy. And then and eat it's them. It's time to serve them in a big bucket and then so eat them. everyone can dig in. And then we eat them. We do then eat them, yeah. Good. We'll hurry up with this bit. It's <laughs> pointless. Stack them high and there you go. Our own buffalo hot wings sorted. sorted. We've got loads more great shareable recipes. If you want to find them, click on that little eye up there.